What's up guys? I'm student Dr. Thompson here with a quick tip on how to make studying for boards just a little bit more convenient. So I'm a second year medical student and in the spring I'm going to be taking my level one board examination. Okay, so most people use a book called First Aid. This is an amazing book and in fact I use it from recommendations. I use it to study for my normal tests and that way as I've I get familiar with the content in this book. Um, when I go to really cram for boards, it's already familiar in the way they present it here. Okay, so one thing is, you know, as you're taking notes in this book and as you're um, opening it and closing it, yada, 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 and you get to the edges, you know, the binding's kind of limiting. So the quick tip I have today is some people who've kind of modified the book. And they've taken it to just like a Kinko's and for less than 15 bucks, you can buzz the binding off and get a spiral bound notebook, right? And I did this in undergrad a lot, but didn't really think, you know, until I saw someone um, that it would be a good idea for the first aid book. Okay, so this is great because you can use it eternally, right? Um, and it'll never wear out on the binding. Another uh, rendition of the, you know, the same idea is to hack the binding off and then put it in a three ring binder. And the reason why uh, this person put it in a three ring binder is because um, periodically there was a page that was, you know, missing information or um, it just wasn't as good as, you know, a teacher presented it in class or a handout um, presented it. So they've actually added sheets of paper of their own. And, you know, obviously the benefit of the three ring binder is that you can put those extra uh, resources in wherever you want. Okay, so that's my quick tip on how to make studying for boards just a little more convenient. Um, guys, I plan on doing five things to study for boards. And I got these five things from my brother and his wife who uh, did really well on their boards and they used the same method. So first they used a question bank, they used um, first aid, they used a company called Picmonic, and if you're not familiar with them, I did a walkthrough of their website on the movie just before this. Um, or you can go to pickmonic.com and check that out. And third, they used um, a company called Pathoma, where this guy does a really good job at teaching pathology. And I actually use it to study for my pathology tests, you know, all through, all through uh, first uh, year and second year. And then they use a guy named Golion, and he does like lecture review series um, for board prep. So those are the five things I'm going to use. Uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful and give you some ideas of how you can make your first aid book a little bit better. Thanks for watching and stick around for more great videos.